Gary Palmer, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, so let's talk about the Speaker of the House. Uh, you ran for two days, withdrew your name. There was a host of people running. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on how this finally ended? Well, I got in because I thought there were some things that needed to be said to our members and, 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 and a plan laid out. And I've been sitting there for almost three weeks in these conference meetings trying to get to a speaker and the members really weren't listening. They were just, it was very intense. Mm -hmm. And I, I really, I waited till seven minutes before the deadline to put my name in, but it really gave me an opportunity to talk about how do we move forward. And um, I knew that I was going to withdraw. I didn't call anybody and ask them to support me. And I laid out uh, what my comms team called the Palmer principles on how to fix the appropriation process and I believe we're going to do it. Talk about uh, what's going on with Israel. Um, we carried out those airstrikes in Syria after 21 U.S. troops were injured, most of them with traumatic brain injuries, um, after we were attacked, essentially. Can we avoid an all-out world war, Gary? I think we can. Now, the thing people need to know about our response in Syria, we have troops in Syria. We've carried out countermeasures uh, against Iranian-backed uh, militia and others that are operating in Syria. So this was not something that's out of the ordinary in regard to uh, what we did there. The thing that concerns me is in this administration, I think a lot of this was precipitated by their disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. I don't think Russia would have attacked Ukraine. I think China's posture toward Taiwan would not, not be as aggressive as, as it is right now. And it's not just Taiwan. It's the Philippines. And then, um, I, you know, I don't know about the attack in Israel, Hamas, but clearly Iran has been preparing for this. They, the Hamas attackers were trained in Iran. You've got Hezbollah in uh, Lebanon, and you've got uh, the Houthis in uh, Yemen. And, uh, and I don't know how many people know that, that there were missiles fired, two, three cruise missiles fired from Yemen, and about a dozen drones launched that one of our ships shot down. Bringing it back domestically, the, the mass shootings in Maine leading to calls for gun control uh, yesterday, I heard it. Uh, do you think that that will happen? I, I don't think this is going to be a gun control issue. I think it's going to be a mental health issue. Uh, this is a guy who was uh, confined for two weeks. Uh, he dis uh, displayed all of the signs of schizophrenia. Uh, he heard voices. He said he was going to come back to uh, there and, and shoot up the military base. And he made and nobody, good on it. Yeah. And nobody did anything about it. Uh, certainly the discussions will come in uh, Congress, no doubt. Congressman Gary Palmer, great to see you this morning. Thanks for Thanks being for, here. Thanks for having me on, Andrea. And uh, this morning, from